Real quick before I start the video, I just wanted to give a shout out to Terry over at Hobby Barn. Uh, tonight watching some of the other videos including Time Machine Models. Learned that Terry's back in the hospital. His O2 was pretty low. Looks like he's doing okay now. They got him stabilized. Go to Terry's channel, Hobby Barn, and uh, give him some well wishes. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, by all means, please do so. And Terry, if you see this video, man, we're pulling for you. Get to feeling better soon so you can get back home and watch us build models. And we get to watch you building some models someday too, all right? Take care of yourself, Terry. Oh. Crying uncle. I'm done for tonight. Good evening, everybody. David here in Altoona, Iowa. Welcome back to Scale Models Midwest. Here on the workbench, just a quick little update on the Ravel Top Gun Super Hornet. As you can see, I am in the process of putting decals on. Yesterday I was in the process of putting decals on. Tuesday I was in the process of putting decals on. So far I've got about three hours invested in applying decals. And I still have all these decals left to put on. Mostly on the left fuselage, the left vertical uh, stabilizer, as well as underbody markings and wherever the heck all of decal number 51 goes. There's like, I don't know, 40 of them. So uh, yeah, there's well over 100 decals on this kit. Um, plan on being down on your workbench for a while when you do this, over several days. It is, as they say here, a level five kit. Uh, that being said, it is definitely not a kit for beginners, but I'm not going to say don't build it as your first kit. In fact, I highly recommend if you do build this as your first kit, just take your time and it will come together just fine. Um, but I will give you a couple things real quick before I take off. One, put the decals on the sub-assemblies first, I think would be a good idea. Before you put the sub-assemblies together, it just makes it, I think, the process a lot more smooth as far as putting the jet together once you're done. And as you can see in the process of putting the decals on, because I just had to keep moving around and trying to put my hand in the right position to put the decals on, I knocked parts off. It's no biggie. I'll get those reapplied. Um, definitely this is a kit that on the very top of the fuselage requires some good masking, so just look at the box art. Uh, eyeball engineer it the way you want. Um, put it together, it looked pretty good. Having said that, as far as the color, I am going to go to the hobby store tomorrow after work and see if I can find a lighter shade of gray. I was using Tester's number 1226 flat dark aircraft gray. I think, honestly, it should have been at least a shade or two lighter, according to the box art. Um, definitely not silver, but I think there's some, looks like a little silver to the gray. But I will be doing some uh, uh, dry brushing and some... Uh, weathering on this to make it kind of pop a little bit more. I'll show Henry and Edward how to do that dry brushing and the weathering as well. I'll be using some uh, Tamiya weathering powders and uh, just silver dry brushing for the edges and wingtips and what have you. But ultimately, overall, this kit did turn out to be a really good kit. Um, I'm impressed still. In spite of the fact that, yeah, it's, it's kind of proven to be a challenge, especially with the decals, I'm not going to say I don't like it. I actually do. Um, it's not going to keep me from building other jets in the future. I'm still a car and truck guy. Still plan on doing that. But uh, I still would like to build a P-51 Mustang someday. Still would like to build an A-10 Warthog. Um, but for now, once I get this one done, the only jet I plan on building will be the one with Henry and Edward. Once we get some schedules down pat so we can get together and start putting their first kit together and go from there. So hope you like what I have here. I'm gonna go on ahead, head upstairs. I gotta get some stuff done before I post this. And then uh, tomorrow I'll do some more of the decal work and hopefully have it complete and buttoned up by Saturday evening. So with that, hope you have a great rest of the week. We will see you then.